Hi, everybody. All right, so with the canopy sort of done for now, uh, we are moving on to greater things. Uh, as you can see, I've got the canopy frame here, and what I've done is I've put a little bit of a uh, gray uh, enamel coat on the ins, you know, inner upper frame. Uh, it's the same color that we're kind of putting on the you know interior of the fuselage. And I'm doing a little bit of deburring as the you know the piece that hangs over the regular panel and shows itself to everyone just wasn't quite as clean as I would like. And the last thing I want is someone to get in a plane and go, "Wow, this is pretty." Except for some reason, <laughs> uh, your canopy cover just seems to be done hodgepodge and shitty, and so that's all getting fixed. So in this video, we're going to be going over the ELT. And then we're going to be getting into some wiring. So I'm going to start describing the ELT because it's going to be coming up here soon. So ELT, right? E emergency Location Transmitter. Or Transponder? Trans it's one of those two. It's the small little portable self-powered radio that you use to uh, give your location should mm, anything happen to you. Right? Basically these are put in your plane in case you have you know, a small incident, and you might be unconscious, and someone needs to know where you are, this thing goes off. So, it's a pressure-sensitive radio. Basically, so if you hit anything doing more than 4.5 feet, I think it's feet per second, uh, it goes off. And it's got a little thing that, you know, sits on the panel, everyone's seen them. It's got a little test button and an on light, and what you see me holding here are the two cover plates for that, so that you can mount it onto your panel, either vertically or horizontally. See how one's vertical, one's horizontal? All right, so you got power, you got the light, and then you got the reset. That's a nice little system. You'll see the orange battery behind me whenever this thing unpauses. Uh, the battery itself is actually the most expensive part. Replacing those things is, is, is a lot, oh, especially in like, you know, certified aircraft. It, technically, home-built aircraft aren't required to have ELTs. Uh, but, of course, why wouldn't you want to put one on there? You know, it's it's ridiculous. You can see it in the box there. So, yeah, it's j all it is is just a self-powered beacon. And it transmits on two different frequencies. The standard emergency frequency, everyone knows, 121.5. But it also broadcasts on 406 megahertz uh, as well, which obviously our UHF radios don't pick up. But that's the new one. Uh, <clears throat> also along with it, so it's, it's a simple wiring system. Uh, like I said, it does have a big old battery in that orange box you see there. Uh, but uh, it, it's also rechargeable. So there's 12 volts that go in and out, right? Helps recharge a battery, keep it fresh, well, freshish. And it also has uh, a line going into it from your GPS source, which will tell the ELT where your where what your current location is and that will actually be sent out with the packet of information uh, along with the blaring siren that goes off which is pretty cool now normally if you look back there you can see the end of the tail cone where the uh, vertical stabilizer horizontal stabilizer goes goes on that's the original location of the installation for this ELT I, however, am going to be putting it directly behind the baggage compartment, which I'm actually going to be working on today. So you'll see it mm, soon. All right, so over to some wiring stuff. First things first. Um, you can see that I've got, remember we went and did the GP, uh, G3X trays, and you can see I've got the tray in there, and I've got my GAD27 electronic unit. So with that electronic unit there, having the grounding block uh, wasn't really working facing forward. So what you just saw me do was take it out and put it on the back side of the sub-panel, which ironically really, really works. So we're very happy with that. I don't know why I called this wiring hell. We barely are getting into the wiring now, but you can see the rat's nest that's coming. So anyway, um, have a good week. Later this week, you'll see more wiring and we're getting more stuff done. So thanks for joining me. See you soon.